This is a steelhead pattern called Lumi. The hook is a Jemco 202 SP in a size 4. The thread is Benecci 12 aught in a black. And I tie on the thread just back of the eye, leaving enough space in case this fly is fished with a riffling hitch and the knot will be back of the, uh, the loop. For the ribbing, it's a fine gold wire. which I tie in at this point almost as a continuation of the loop I use the torque of the thread to keep it underneath the shank all the way down till it's about halfway between the point and the barb for the tail it's a Lady Amherst feather, dyed a golden yellow. These are the barbs that I will use, but we need to even the tips. So I'll just fold them out. Till they're level. And trim. I like the second black bar just slightly showing. It's a relatively short tail. Only this. Then tie down. The abdomen on the fly is muskrat, which is a medium gray in color. Muskrat under fur. Simply twist it onto the thread. slid into place. The initial turns of thread will run back so we can make a clean start without thread showing. And then shape the abdomen. Add a bit more of the muskrat. Make sure we keep a level body till about here where the thorax portion will start. The thorax will be built in two stages before, behind, and in front of the wing. I've made a mix of seal's fur, both in a golden yellow and gray, in equal proportions. Twist it on. Twist it a bit more. Not too bulky, certainly not at this point, because we don't want the wing to stand up too far. Next we'll wind the ribbing. Five or perhaps six turns.
trim away. The wing on the fly will be muskrat guard here. This is a muskrat pelt and it has fairly long guard hairs. Like so. Some of the under fur is now removed, but we'll leave some in place. To give the wing a little bit of volume. Like so. Length is the tips will be even with the tips of the tail. Trim. Then tie down with a few tight turns and cut into the butts in two stages. This will ensure that the wing will be insecure. The second part of the thorax will come. We'll take a little bit more of the yellow and grey mix. Just a little bit to cover up the butts and slightly lower down the wing part. The hackle is added. This is a shoulder feather of a cochlear hen neck portion right at the base of these necks. Stroke down from the tip. Tie it down. Snip away. The hackle is now folded and wrapped. In touching turns. Sometimes they simply don't want to play ball. You unwrap, make sure they're all stroked back. Till the bare stem is reached. A few hard turns and we can trim away the excess.
and finally end it with three turn whip finish. Optionally, you can use a little bit of Velcro and tease away, tease out some of the seals fur. And that completes the Lumi.